What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to play some Magic Online. I'm actually going to play this deck that was just supplied to me. Uh, we were going to play a Jeskai Delver list, but it looks like uh, Saracy is not here yet. So we can play that next. And uh, today we're going to play this Living End deck with Electro Dominance and a bunch of Cyclone Dudes. This is nice because traditionally uh, you're going to draw a bunch of cards with your, with your Living End deck. And, um, you know, that's going to usually facilitate you drawing at least one copy of Living End because you're drawing a bunch of cards. However, this in this specific instance, when you draw the Living End, it's just gravy because you have Electro Dominance and As Foretold. So, also works quite well with Ancestral Vision and Live End. Uh, well, I guess Living End is the point, but it works quite well with Ancestral Vision as well. So, you know, like you do. Uh, let me just upload this to the thing, to the old Decker de la stream. And we'll set this current. All right. This will be the deck we're playing for now, and then we'll come back to the other one later. And uh, um, let's see how it goes. Living Dominance. Just wait till you put all your creatures in Andrew. Yeah, it's like... What a time to be alive. Uh-oh. I mean... I feel like this hand's good with one blue source, right? Straight gravy. That's... <laughs> that's my favorite kind of gravy. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. How many lands do we have here? What should I expect? It's about like 22 lands. 19 lands? Bold strategy. I mean, we'll keep this. We got two cyclers. All right. Um. Yeah, you know what? I'll keep it on top. You got it. Were they taking two? Inquisition or Thoughtseize? Let's do it. Oh no. When does the uh, rule come into play? Sea Monk with the resub. Thank you so much. I guess I never shared my notice for my seven months of subbing, so here it is. Frank, our sub baby is on the way. I'm waiting. I'm patiently waiting. Is this the mirror match? Yikes. This feels worse. This feels like... Uh, I don't want them to have desert ceridons of their own. I feel like our opponent has bad intentions. That's their name, bad intentions. Do we have any cascade bluffs in this bad boy? No. Oh, we do. We do have one Cascade Bluffs, which I like because it lets our islands tap for Electro Dominance. Oh, in response, they're going to cycle. That's an interesting strategy. Let's try to hit a land, huh? We did it. We're good at this game. Man, three striped river winders in the graveyard is pretty OP. One, two, three, four. I do like the I, I do like street rates in here. They're just like they're just they're just an extra cycler that's free. Now they have one, two, three, four, five creatures, and we could have a total of three. Do we have Faithless Looting? No Faithless Looting, huh? Hmm. Fascinating. Fascinating. A fascinating specimen. Oh, I see. Um... 
I'm tempted to let this happen and then try to uh, draw another red source so we can elect or any land, I guess. Yeah, we're going to try to living end after they do. Okay. We're also going to get rid of the Ceradon because we want to keep our red up next turn. Okay. Any land. That'll do. There's a lot of as foretolds. And they have one card in hand, which is nice. If it's Electrodominance, though, it's pretty rough. Well, I guess they have to have Electrodominance and at the end, right? I feel like we just took over. Oh, we also have Remand, which is pretty insane here. I'm pretty sure we just win. They can't do they can't do anything twice, so I'm pretty sure Remand is actually just gonna seal this game. Nice. Nice. All right. So bring in this, bring in the negates. They don't have negates, which is nice. Um, yeah, Blood Moon's not, doesn't seem great against the mono red deck. Yeah, Braid seems pretty useless here. All of these seem good. Uh, we can probably take out Click. Or we can take out one Cryptic Command. 19 mana. Cryptic Command seems pretty ambitious. Alright. Seems fine. Blood Moon, more like Butt Moon. You know, that's actually the perfect comment from uh, from someone with the name Fartotron. I feel like that's that's really on brand. I do wonder if we want street rates here. Look at this little guy. What a I was gonna play that one end of turn I'll play my scalding tarn. That doesn't work at all. Two steam vents in the deck. That's fascinating. Well, we have our draw step, a Ceradon, and a Ceradon. So the next three cards we have to hit a land. How, what was your final record for Luke Abazan, and how do you feel a more traditional Jun style Junk Abazan deck would do? Um, The first question, I think we went 3-1, 4-1, 3-1. I think we did well. We did well with the deck. Um, I don't remember how many rounds we played. It might have been like four. So I think we did 4-1. Or 3-1, rather. Um, how do you feel more traditional Jun style junk? I just don't think you need it. I mean, I think it probably... I, I don't know. Like, you're, you're making your mana base worse, and you're making it harder to play the two drops because they're all very color intensive. But, um... Oh, Gutter Response and a Monstrous Carabidio. Okay, you're just going to play a bunch of these guys? That's your plan right now? Yikes. Well, this guy doesn't have haste. But, that being said, I think, like, Abzan decks are fine right now. Like, if they're just strong, the strong cards, you know what I mean? <sighs> yep, taking four. OK, 
Okay, well, we are looking for a land. We found one. Push it to the limit. Walking on. I don't think we. I don't think we're suspending ancestor visions here. Or are we? I'm saying Abzan good stuff is potentially good stuff. Yes, for sure. Um. Fascinating. Uh, my question is whether I just play Tormod's Crypt here. I don't think so. I think we can wait a turn. The question is whether we play Tormod's Crypt and whether we suspend this. I think we're not in a position to Ancestral anytime soon. We also don't have anything else to do with the mana. I'll suspend it. Sure, why not? What's the reason for not playing Cryptic here? Crypt here? Um, yeah, I don't want that. As soon as we play Crypt, they're going to stop cycling their guys. And they're going to play around the Crypt. I'd rather than put a bunch of dudes in the graveyard just to pump these guys. And then we're going to play Crypt, take out their graveyard, and then Living End in the same turn. That's, that's our goal. Like this. Like, I, I have a feeling they would not have done that if, they, if, they, if we had the Crypt on board. Maybe they would have. But, I mean, this is going to... Yeah, this is actually... We just need a red source. I just really want a red source here. I think we win the game if we hit a red source. We don't We don't win the game. Four, five, six. I mean, if they have nothing else to discard, we win. If they discard one card, we're dead. But I mean we had parity for the most part. Like if they went if they went off, if they went like living end, like we'd have the same almost the same amount of creatures at at the time I passed. They put a couple more in, but Can you just have nothing to It sucks that like now we're at one, so we have to literally draw island. Or a uh, mountain, rather. Or Spire Bluff Canal, I guess. Wow, we just got a one here? <laughs> oh, yep, that'll do. All right, well, unfortunate. Thanks a lot, Scalding Tarn. <laughs> Why concede when you can fetch? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I think we're fine. I don't think we care about Anger, a braid, Echoing Truth. None of these cards are super exciting. Alright. I will play first. Two lands? Perfect. That's all I've ever wanted. Nah, that's why Scalding Tarn's like 80 bucks, right? Because it just puts you in these amazing situations. Man, this guy every game, huh? I mean, I'm still going to get a Steam Vents here untapped and still cycle something. I do like keeping Remand up here. Let's do that. You got it.
Yikes. Oh man, we're going deep here. Oh man, we got mismatching street wraiths here. That's not okay, man. What makes this deck better than Dredge? I mean, nothing. People don't play decks because they're better than other decks. Otherwise, you'd have literally everyone playing the best deck in the format, right? Like, no one's playing this because it's better than Dredge. Maybe they are. Maybe they think it's particularly better than Dredge. Look at all these lands we're drawing. This is great. This is refreshing. Um, I mean, you probably just pass here. Could just play as foretold, but then Urbrask. I mean, does Urbrask just kill us? Like 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Like, Living End just literally kills us if we tap out because of Urbrask. I guess we could actually play as foretold and Tormod's Crypt, right? That seems good. Because I like getting as foretold to the point where we can... Because we also don't have a way to... Uh... Well, I guess we want to play Tormod's Crypt first. Because if they respond... They can't respond with Living End, right? I feel like this is safe. Sure. It's an interesting... Ch oh, they think we're going to living end now. All right. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, I wanted to get as foretold in a position where we can remand off of it for free. I like that we can basically just sit on this Tormod script. It's pretty nice. We can also keep up uh, Cryptic Command the next turn, which is also pretty nice. Yep, that's okay too. So now we can Electrodominance this guy for two and also remand whatever spell they play. That's pretty nice. All of these things are nice. So many nice things happening. Teferi Pool? I don't even know what that is. I don't think that's a legit deck name. Um, I think this is fine, right? Like, we bounce... I think we actually kill this guy. Remand this guy. Crack this and get an island. All right. 
right, choose this guy. Done. Ooh, all right. We're getting somewhere. We're doing things. They have five cards in hand. That's a lot. But next time we actually get a free remand and a free is it charm. We can is it charm this guy and then keep up remand slash cryptic command. That's pretty gas. As foretold, is going to do some work at this point. Uh, oh, I did it with as foretold. I'm like, I was like, wait, why did not mean to do that? But that's actually totally fine because then we get to keep up cryptic command mana and we get to play either of these on their turn. I like that this Tormod's Crypt is just kind of hanging out here. It's like, well, you know, it's going to do some work here. I guess they're going to hard cast some things at this point. Um, I feel like we can Cryptic Command pretty safely here, to be quite honest. But what's the point? Like, we have three spells that counter a Living End. I mean, even a Desert Ceridon at this point is pretty much game-winning. Yeah, that's fine. I don't even care. Let them cast their little Lutso Toots. <laughs> Oh, good times. Good times. Good times. Monstrous Carabit and a second Faithless Looting? Good lord. So many things. Well, we can actually wait to, to, to cycle that guy. Because we have Cryptic Commands. Man, now I wish I had more cryptic commands in the deck. Not tight. Carabit is alright. Graveyard out of sight. Alrighty then. Nope, second main, do a thing. Are they just hard casting this? Because that's pretty funny. Oh, I kind of like that. Do they have a way to cast... Living end right here? I don't think so, right? Like they need they could go Simeon Spirit got uh electric. Yeah, that's fine. We have we have Tormod Script on board. So So if they go exile Simeon Spirit Guide, cast Electrodominance, play Living End, that's three cards. Bobby Miser, what's going on, buddy? How did you like Captain Marvel? I loved it. I thought it was great. I had a blast. This is interesting. So now I wonder what they are going to do. Yep, this is actually, this is, seems like what we were afraid of. <laughs> this is like exactly what we called. Okay. So I can respond to the card they, they cast, right? Like, cause it still goes on the stack, right? It says you may cast a card with converted mana cost X or less, right? It, it totally goes on the stack. You're casting it. Oh, 
Well, they're paying costs. I don't know what else they could have. They have two cards and no mana. Okay. But see, the problem is if they now they have now they don't have to play it, right? Like if if we put it on the stack, if they put Living End on the stack, uh, then we would get our guys back. So, I mean, I'm still gonna take a look at your hand. Okay, so we're just gonna get rid of Electro Dominance. You can keep Living End. Sure. another as foretold for free and this should be game so now they have living end in hand but one electro dominance is in the graveyard and one is on the bottom of their library so that seems like a good place for them to be I'm always streaming and the Roomba always goes on Hold on, let me let me pause this this bad boy. Okay, we did it. Two things: you need to go see How to Train Your Dragon Three. Oh, and you need to check your Facebook. I did. I totally checked it, and I totally added it to my timeline. I like that your message was because you like little cuties, and I was like, "That's that's true. I do." Also, How to Train Your Dragon is an excellent franchise. Here we go again. Put all your nerds in the ground. I mean, they're on a three-turn clock here, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> we have one as foretold on six, one on two. What could go wrong? And we know one of their two cards. So we have two counter spells as well, so... Uh, they didn't cast the Minotaur, I assume, because they don't have a green mana. That would be my guess. Because Minotaur is not a red card, and they have Thank only you. green land, only only red lands. Holy cow, time flies. Glad to watch how much the stream has grown in these eight months. Emerson, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I really appreciate it. Can't you just cast anything if you have the number, the same number of mana, even despite the color costs? No. For those watching at home, you cannot. Okay, we're getting to a point where, like, this is not going to counter anything. So I'm actually probably just going to cycle and see what we hit. I mean, they have to have two two spells that go with Living End. Uh, and even so, like, is it Charm's not going to counter anything. And we have more creatures than they do anyway. So it's like, it's... Let's free it. Cast with as foretold three counters. Draw two cards. This two cards. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to kill you. Uh, I'll cast Cryptic Command. <laughs> Hard game to play around. I agree. I agree. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a he who blinks first matchup. I'm gonna return a permanent to your hand. I think they conceded. Oh, that's too bad. We did it. Was there something I was like? No, I think I want to change this. I don't. I don't know. Want a braid is kind of random. Still, we won. We're good at this game. We're basically the champions of the world. Street Wraith. That was the one. That was the ticket. Yeah, I'm going to play first. So this is a situation where we're definitely going to suspend one of these. See, the thing about more lands is that you don't really need them. I, I was concerned at first, but, like, you have, like, 12 one-mana cards that cycle, so. I 
Let me always yield to this thing. All right. I'm just going to play this untapped so we can... I do like a Windswept Heath because that's not a, a particularly threatening land. And we get to give up Is It Charm and two Cyclarinos. I have not won a major... Uh, I, won, I haven't won a Pro Tour, that's true. And I never will because there's no more Pro Tours now. I told Alexis to send Ruma to the port. That just sounds like uh, that just sounds like she's gonna go to where the ships are. Oh, a mountain and a stomping ground. This this has become fascinating. This is a lot of ancestral vision. If we can hit a land, that'd be great. We did not hit a land. It's not as great. Um. I just want to hit a land here. This draws us one. This draws us two, but... We're getting close to this, though. I think we're actually okay here. Undrum Tuna, have a good afternoon, buddy. Enjoy your Captain Marvel experience. No suspended visions. No, we have two suspended already, and any one land lets us play these for free. So, are we playing Val Valishmoot? This is ridiculous. I'm a people person. All right, well, we get to draw three next turn, so ideally we just go off and kill them. Well, they can't. That's fascinating. That's actually super sweet. I'm a fan of that. Wow, there were no lands. I just want to be clear that there were no lands in that in that pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, wait, hold on. Land? Wow, we did it. My god, what's it like being this good at, ga at Magic the Gathering? Gadget the Mathering. However, if we hit one more land, we'd have Cryptic Command up, which is a lot better than not having Cryptic Command up. So if they go Valakut land, we take one, two, three, four. They have to go two, two mountains, right? And then we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, we take 12. I mean, we do have Electro Dominance here. We could also Vendillion click them on their upkeep to try to hit like a Primeval Titan. We kind of want to as foretold here because we kind of want to keep up Is It Charm. And they could just not have it. If they don't have it, we kind of win, right? Yeah, four lands would be ideal here because we get Electro Dominance um, and Remand. Hour of Promise. That gets you two more lands. I think that's actually fine. Because those are going to deal us 12. I guess if they have one more land, if they have one more mountain in hand, we're dead, right? Which is kind of sad. I don't want to be dead. Spencer, have a good afternoon, buddy. And then they're like, mountain. Yep. To the surprise of no one. All right. We had a good time. There's something we can do about that, right? No. All right. Oh, 
Okay. I like Blood Moon here just because it turns their things into other things. I don't care about is it charms. Uh, Remand is fine, but not great. Torment Script isn't relevant. It's probably just two negates here. <sighs> Man. I will play first. Oh. Three as foretolds. Nope, don't like that. All right, we'll keep this hand, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna put this on the top despite wanting more lands because we have cards. What does that mean? What's going on? I don't know. Cycle this jabroni. Oh my goodness. Is this... Are we playing the same deck? We have three lands? What a time to be alive. How lucky we are to be alive right now. Look around, look around. Uh, 100% Romando. Romando, friendo. Okay, we're halfway there. Parked in front of a new sushi restaurant called Poke World Sushi. Do you think they're serving Magic Carp? Maybe. You should be like, I'll have the Gyarados roll. Oh, uh, another one? Mm, I'm going to still say no. As foretold. Negate. So we can play this. I'm going to just get an island here because I think our mana is actually just fine. Gyarados is one of those challenge foods. If you can eat the whole thing, your sushi's free. That's a good deal. How lucky we are to be alive right now. Um, yeah, let's suspend that for now. Let's see what you got, Chief. Woodfall Primus, Through the Breach, Through the Breach, Tribe Builder, Tribe Builder, Primeval Titan. Okay. This is actually all fine. So, Primeval, Tribe, Tribe, Mire, Woodfall, Breach, Breach. So they can't actually play... Um, they can't actually play through the breaches, so I don't care about those because we have two counter spells. I probably just want to get rid of the Primeval Titan. Okay. So now we know they have seven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. That's what I figured you would do. And Mire. Sounds good. And second Tri Builder. So now you'll have Through the Breach, Through the Breach, Woodfall Primus, and I'm mismatching Through the Breaches, too. What's with these people? I feel next level tilted. Now I feel even more tilted. My tilt level is actually pretty high right now.
Interesting. So no, no through the breach would fall Primus, I guess. Or they're just holding it up. They're going to go end of turn. Okay. A bold strategy, Cotton. Blood Moon. Well, we're not going to play that yet. I'd rather just have five mana. If we play this, they just go Woodfall Primus, and that's not cool. Looks like we took a left turn into the Twilight Zone. So they go EOT. Breachems. In response, I'll get a land. Okay. Well. Knock yourself out, my dude. I feel like I'm always losing to Scape Shift. Always losing to Scape Shift. Thank you. Josh, welcome back, buddy. 17 months. Really appreciate the support, Moan Frere. Well, that's unfortunate that you would do that. But now we get to untap. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they need one more green. They got Search for Morrow in the queue. Come on, be something good. Yeah, we're just going to do this. Because now they have no green mana and they have no Valakuts. So that's pretty cool. We only have one blue, but it's really all we need. So They can't cast Primeval. They can't cast Woodfall Primus. And they have no Valakuts. So... Well, that answered all of our prayers. So we can just play this and go EOT Living End. And then we have Vendillion Click, Curator, Striper Rewinder. I'm going to wait because I want to Electrodominance them for three to put them to seven. And we can also get to keep up a remand that way. So we're back on the find a way to cheat ancestral vision deck plan. I mean, yes, yes, we are. Well, this is actually uh, suggested by Undrub Tuna. So we are playing. It's the living end. It's the living end version of the deck. Well, they are now one third into a Woodfall Primus. They do get Tribe Elders back. That's unfortunate. And if they search for two forests, they can just cast Woodfall Primus which would then shut off Blood Moon. Interesting. We have four, we have seven in the air though, actually. So Actually, we can just take it with the Vanillion Click as well. Uh, Titan, Scape Shift, Summoner's Pact. Is Scape Shift a cost? Sacrifice and Amber Land, Search Library? No. Okay, so, well, this is actually a hell of a hand. I'm trying to pretend it's not going to matter. Okay, it doesn't matter. Good. Yeah, because we just could untap and none of these cards do anything, so we just let them keep all these and attack for seven in the air. That's pretty cool. I think we're fine. I mean, I kind of like Torment Script just in case, but their guys really don't go into the graveyard. Did I hear right that you're coming to Northern Utah? Something I don't know if it's Northern Utah. I don't know anything about Utah, I'll be honest with you. Uh, for those guys watching on YouTube, I got actually a bunch of comments about this. Uh, for the 
War of the Spark pre-release, I'm going to head up to uh, Jake P's store in Logan. So uh, if you guys are interested in that, if you guys want to hang out, uh, definitely show up there and we'll have a cool time. So uh, there you go. I will be in Logan for the War of the Spark pre-release. That's where Wolverine is from. <laughs> wow. That's fantastic. Thank you. Kid Cabbage, welcome back. 16 months. What was that close to two and a half years? God, time flies when you're having a good time, if you know what I mean. I bet you do. You're no dummy. Get a forest. I dare you. Dang it, they knew. They were like, I'll get a forest. Do I counter this? I feel like I counter this. They just hard cast it, but then like, what are you going to do then? I'll let it resolve. You can have this. I'd rather counter something that they can't replay on the same turn, like a Primeval Titan or a Through the Breachy Boy. Oh, Breachy Boy. Let's get that Spire River Winder. What are you doing right now? This is fascinating because you don't get to keep the guy. Oh, you're just going to kill my land and then it dies. Well, that's unfortunate. Why are you the way that you are? And then you get to kill another land? Oh, for fudge sakes. That was broken. Well, I guess you just had to have these two things. Oh, I have a sad. I think we're dead now. <sighs> yep, that's all I need to see. I'm not going to try to come back when they have Woodfall Primus on the board. Could we have done anything? Like, I mean, we don't have a living end, right? We draw a card. We have one creature in our graveyard. They're going to have, like, ten lands. So, I'm not really, like... Like, we have no way to bounce this guy. We have three lands total, and we wouldn't have hit a fourth land for a million turns. Yeah, I think that's fine to concede there. I think the odds were pretty much stacked against us. I mean, I guess we just could have not cycled and live in constant fear of... Um... <laughs> through the breach woodfall primus but yeah just beat me in the pre-release that's probably better for everybody not for me per se but I mean you know I'm just there to hang out and have a good time so feel free to, to wreck me Just be sure to bring Twitch chat so you have the edge. That's a good idea. I would not want to leave Twitch chat at home. Because then I'd get all the... I'd probably get get all the correct plays. Oh, uh, I had a remand. I, that was the only counter I had in hand. I had a cryptic command, but that wasn't relevant. But I mean, like, even if I remand it, you're just going to replay it next turn. Like, it's really not super easy to play around through the breach Woodfall Primus. Keep this hand. I mean, it happens. That's a pretty. That's a. I feel like that's a pretty hard matchup for everyone in the world. 
April 27th is after finals are finished. I think I'm going to go and do the pre-release. What was the name of the game store? That's a good question. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, we'll just play this and we'll keep up. Uh, let's see if we can safely search for a striped uh, or search safely cycle a striped river winder this time. For some reason, my email is not loading. Oh, we found it. We did it. Okay, hold on. Uh, it's called the Game Grid, or Game Grid, with not with no the. I feel like there's a lot of things happening right now. Is that another scape shift deck? It didn't feel like it at first, but now I'm wondering. Actually, we should have just kept that up in case we hit another cycler, but alas, here we are. I could just drop an as foretold. They're going to get a land and then another land. So they're going to have four lands if they play a fifth land. I don't think there's a way. I guess they can explore. One, two, three, four, five. No, they'd have to go to seven lands in order to kill us. I think we can as foretold here pretty safely. I don't love it, but I do love being able to just have this ticking up, so. Okay, well they have a scape shift on top, so it is indeed a scape shift deck. <laughs> oh, never fails. Never fails, land! I actually wanted that land. Okay, so now who has foretold online? They're gonna get this. They have no Valakuts though. This actually gives us a little more uh, breathing room, I think. Oh, that's nice. So we know you have a scape shift in hand. Yep. And search on top. So one, two, three, four, five. They have seven mana. You can actually tap them all, kill us. But we have both remand and cryptic command. Question is, which do we do? Which do we utilize? Two mana left over. I'm pretty sure we just cryptic command. Maybe bounce the courser. Does that do anything? No, no, it does not. So we're like guttural response. They did not have a guttural response. You got it. Oh, the search took away the, the scape shift, didn't it? Yeah, that makes sense. Because then they had a Valakut on top instead. 
Mind if I ask an arena question? Knock yourself out. Go for it, my dude. That is not it. Hold on, I'm looking for the looking for the name of the store. Uh, yeah, it's Game Grid Logan. The name of the store is Game Grid Logan. Uh, no blockers. Surprised this is. Knock yourself out is a weird phrase. I agree with you. All right, now we have double remand ability capabilities. Uh, that is a good question. I actually don't know the answer to that. Long time fan, first time arena player, long time magic player. That is a, that is a nice resume. I guess we could have actually cycled cycled because we're gonna get to play two counter spells here anyway. Yeah, I'm fine with whatever. Oh, an ancient, an anger of the gods, huh? That's a good one to draw. I mean, I wish you didn't have free lands, but that's life, I guess. Life is having a bunch of free lands. They're also going to get a Sakura Tribe Elder, which is fine I guess summoners packed doot 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 do. one two four five six yeah that's fine so bolt what'd they get primeval titan man who saw that Are you flying to Salt Lake City? Because if you are, I can totally pick you up on the way. If you want, uh, I'm actually I am flying to Salt Lake City, but I have I have plans with with Jake already. Um, let's. Oh, cast that! I was like, why can't I use this? Yeah. Oh man, Chromanta Flare was amazing. One, two, three, four. Yeah, all right, so now we can go cycle this hot gentleman. Oh, all right. Let's add a double the boy. Cycle this dude. Are we doing it? Cycle this dude. Did we not cycle this guy last turn? And we could have? Well, that's sad. It's a lot of remands, guys. A lot of remands. All right, so they're gonna pay four for their their summoners packed and then I'm going to try to recast and then we're going to do the thing <sighs> oh it's not even just that you're random it's like I'm not I'm not coming like I mean I, I doubt I'd be coming down the same time you're coming down you know what I mean because I'm coming down like a couple days ahead of the pre-release Did they play this tap so they can't replay Primeval Titan? Yeah, 
yeah it'd be really weird weirdly coincidental if my flight landed the exact same time that you were on your way to the pre-release that would be kind of funny i would laugh Go to eight. We play electro dominance and then remand our own electro dominance. If they have through the breach, then we're just dead, right? Yeah, I don't like that. Now I have like the fear of through the breach. Uh, draw two, then discard two. obnoxious let's discard an as foretold probably an electro dominant eh, remand is fine I guess my kingdom for one living living end I have seen 24 cards and I have not seen one they're going to play this for free deal us 3, 4, 5 and they're basically dead We could electro dominance this guy and then play ancestral vision for free. And then they just draw stomping ground. But don't, we, don't they have bolt in hand too? So they go stomping ground bolt and then like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, this is pretty risky. Sometimes you just don't draw a living end. Sure. <laughs> okay, they just have like three, but they have two bolts in hand. Cool. Oh, Valak, that's a fun deck to play against. I'm guessing the format won't be fun to draft. Why wouldn't it be? Like what that's a weird that's a weird thought to just have out of the blue, right? Sarah, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Getting ready to do a six person draft with the wife and child and three of his friends and a friend. Wow. Simony pot. That sounds like good times, man. This is why you just have to keep the stream on in the back of your life. Just in the background of your life. And then you'll just never you'll never miss it. I think drafting the cell will be super fun. Playing the actual games will feel like we're rough unless it includes. Oh, be oh, we're talking about the planeswalkers. That's why. Yeah. Okay. I get it. I don't know why that wouldn't be fun. That sounds like it'd be great. I mean, also like. I mean, I have a feeling that they've balanced the set in such a way that it makes it a good limited format. Like they're not gonna they're not gonna play test the limited format and be like, this sucks. Oh well, ship it like this. Like they're gonna balance it. Wow, Deep Space Nine, huh? Well, that's something.
All right, we're going to crack this guy. And then we're going to put a desert Serodian in there. It's pronounced Cerodon, stupid. Well, that's rude. Should have actually cycled this guy. It's little decisions like that where you're like, well. I can actually just Electro Dominance here and then put a 6 5 and a 6 4 into play. Is that good enough? Maybe. Because the thing is, they're going to relic next. They're going to relic at the end of this turn, getting rid of the Scalding Tower, and they're going to untap the relic. So no matter what happens, we're going to have to get rid of one of these guys. I'm tempted to actually just put the 6-4 into play. are going to respond like maybe he misses he's not going to miss alright well we got a 6-4 on turn 2 that seems good and I, if they can't kill it this turn which I doubt they can with only a forest in play oh they didn't even activate this they're just like forget it I don't even care anymore Well, we're hoping for a land there. I think having Ceradon and Negate in hand is pretty good. <sighs> yep. I wish this guy had Trample, but I guess that's probably a lot to ask for. See, if we cycled this guy, we'd still have both of these in hand, so we could cycle two things. Scapeshift does not strike me as a deck that can just play a ton of creatures, but they are playing the Courser of Crewfix version, so... You know, maybe. Colony Heart Expedition. Yeah, that's fine. So we go play another Secure Tribaler. Graph Digger's Cage. Wow, they really... They really went to town here. We're going to cycle this because we can actually just probably play Curator of Mysteries at some point. Well, Tormod's Crypt is a pretty rough draw. I mean, I'm going to play it. It's just another card to uh, exile with Relic if they start going going Relic crazy. Uh, we do not have Archfiend of Ifner. Uh, I think it's mostly because you can't cast it. Like, this mostly only has... Same thing with Street Wraith, but, like... It's never going to cost you mana to... To cycle a Street Wraith. So... See, if I don't want to land, I don't want to turn take down negate shields, so. Sure. No, it's a Valica. That's the Molten Pinnacle. Well, two Valakuts, huh? I 
Oh yeah, Graftigger's Cage doesn't actually stop living in. That's interesting. Yeah, because it exiles the creatures first, so they're not coming to play from the graveyard. They're coming to play from exile. Uh, it's an interesting little caveat that people don't really realize. So Colony Heart gets you two mountains, which still doesn't put you up to five mountains. And you have two cards in hand. One of which we can counter. So even after this, you can play another land. aggressive now well we're getting somewhere we could cycle curator here or we could hold it I mean, it's going to be awkward if they play Primeval Titan and just probably kill us out of nowhere. That's going to be real sad. Especially because it's turn five and we miss two land drops. So at a point where we stop missing land drops, I think we actually win more games than we lose. <laughs> There's a lot of games where, like, if I had four mana instead of three mana, I'd be in much better shape. Especially when this deck has, like, three cryptic commands. Yeah, that's a lot for 19 lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, and here it is. No? This is eight mana? What is this? Woodfall Primus? Escape Shift. <sighs> Got a response. Escape shift number two. Oh, we just won the game. Wow. Did not see that one coming. All right, Torment's Crypt I'm going to take out. Probably bring in... Actually, a Braid doesn't really do much, right? It doesn't kill Colony Heart. Yeah, is a Charm Age should be better just because it does counter spells. I don't actually love Cryptic in this deck. I'm kind of the same. I don't feel like walking half a mile for food. I wouldn't either, buddy. I wouldn't either. All right, we have like two negates, three remands, and two is it charms. We have like 19,000 counter spells here. All right. I'm not terribly afraid of anything that can go on turn three. This deck should also be Saltai. okay with all of these things all right well I mean if we can survive until next turn we got the cryptic command on lockdown here that doesn't that doesn't help now we draw excessive lands and four drops so now they want to three four they just go land primeval titan and then we're like well that's pretty good here we go 
my kingdom for a remand. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, are we doing it? Are we holding up double cryptic? Oh boy. This is pretty good. How's the living in cheating to play? Both as foretold and uh I don't care about this. As foretold and Electrodominance. So we're going to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. We're going to go to 9 cards. We're going to play 1, go to 8 cards. We can easily discard something, I'm sure. They have 2 cards. We have 9. So at, at the worst, we have a counter spell for every one of their their threatening cards. Um, I'm just going to play Spire Bluff Canal here. We can discard, I don't know, probably Ancestral Vision, to be honest. We can probably discard a land here. One, two, three, four, five. I don't. I think six is a pretty good amount of lands, especially when it lets us play cryptic and. Oh, we have to discard two cards, biscuits. Um. Just living end. Yikes. Yeah, we can just get rid of one living end. Our graveyard's pretty anemic anyway. Like, they don't have a Valakut, they have two cards in hand. What's going on? One, two, three. I feel like this is safe, right? They don't have Through the Breach, right? Like, we haven't seen a Through the Breach in any of these games. Okay, let's take a look at your hand. Escape Shift and Wreck Sage. Um, I don't care about either of these, to be quite honest. Like, we have Cryptic for Escape Shift. Yeah, I'm just going to let you keep these. I mean, maybe we could have taken Scape Shift, uh, presuming that they would draw a less threatening card. But if they draw, like, Lightning Bolt, uh, like, it gets rid of our clock, I guess we could just counter that. I don't know. Magic is hard. Or we just let it resolve and then we try to living end, but. So we know they have Wreck Sage and Escape Shift. I mean, like, if you just want to like, hard cast a Wreck Sage, I'm totally fine with that. As foretold. Uh, one, two, three. We can actually play as foretold and then just s uh, shoot off an ancestral. And then we just hope we hit an untapped land. I think we can actually wait to do that, though. I don't want to, like, chance not hitting an untapped land. And then just turn, turn down Cryptic Command and then dying to escape shift. It seems pretty bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boot to the head. What's going on, buddy? How you been? How you been? How's your mother? Well, their clock is gone. Joke's on you, buddy.
that doesn't do it. Sure, you got it. That doesn't do what you think it does. So we play this, we play this, we have one, two, three, four, five cards, we'll have to discard a card. Do we play a land? No. So we're going to actually get to play a land for free as well. We're not going to, we're not going to play a land for free. That's, that's sad. I guess, I mean, I'm not going to risk uh, hoping a land is on top so we can... I'll just discard Desert Ceridon, which is the same as, like, drawing an extra card when it comes to having Living End. This guy's totally fine. Oh, we're not going to Rex Sage here. Uh, we're going to remand it first, then we're going to negate it. Because if they have a second escape shift, we're just dead. Uh, remand. Wow, one, two, three, four, five. I really want to hit another land now just because of triple cryptic command. Now they're at nine, so three turn clock. Oh, still three turn clock. Okay. Well, that's awkward. Perhaps we should have negated the first one. I mean, they can get two Valakuts here, which is fine. Oh, they're just dead then, right? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> yeah, we can just kill them with Electro Dominance here. That's pretty gas. <laughs> All right, electro dominance. It's a hell of a drug. Yeah, alternatively, we could just living end, have a million dudes on board, and like, we know they have Rex Sage in one of their card in hand, so we're not actually terrified about their things. Uh, choose you. One, two, here. Are we two zero right now? That's pretty good. Are we? No, we're two one, right? We lost to escape shift deck. That's pretty cool. Nothing I really want to change. I like the Torment script because it's decent in the main deck. The one of Braid is fine too in case they have shenanigans. But, um. Have you played Challenge Breach? Thought on the. F I don't know what that is. So the answer would be no. No, this is Legacy. Don't, don't enter Legacy with our. Oh, I don't want to play Scape Shift a third time. I'll pass.
I don't want to play this again. We're really refining this game. Chris, what's going on? Oh my god, if it isn't Aaron. <laughs> oh, Aaron. Good to see you, buddy. Always a pleasure. I hope you're doing well. All right. Uh, I used to love playing deck with your full player. Like, you had to save all your counters and just hope you had more than they did. Yeah, that's definitely true. A little heartburn? That's true. That will pass. That That's the part that was true. Not the heartburn part. I can't vouch for that. I have to trust that you do have heartburn. But uh, it will pass is, is true. All right. Let's play ZZ Roland. Z Roland. One Z. Neck is all st stiff. <laughs> Glad I didn't say it for you know, Aaron. For as long as I've known you, that would not actually come as a surprise to me. You saying that, I would be like, no, nope, that's just par for the course. That's just par for the Aaron course. I'm gonna pass the turn. We got four four cycly boys here. My God. My Cubbies won 24-6 in their final Cactus League game. I'm going to save some... I, I said uh, I'd like to... I wish I could go back and put some money on the Cubbies. That's from Back to the Future. Which I would imagine BioVisionary also has not seen. Murbler, what's going on? There's no way you haven't seen Back to the Future. Literally... I mean, maybe not banned. At least timed out. At least timed out. Back to the Future? I've probably seen Back to the Future like 15 times, man. How do you exist in the 80s? How do you exist in that even in that time frame and not have seen Back to the Future? Oh my god. I think you need to rethink your moderator qualifications. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh my god Ben with the like the hey it's okay some people haven't seen a lot of movies it's kind of funny it's not I don't feel like it's really necessary it's, it's kind of making me feel like I'm being harder than I actually am and it's not just like a meme at this point I, I have never seen any of the Fast and Furious movies, but that was more deliberate on my part. Yeah, I felt like it was that that was the impression I got about the Fast and Furious franchise. I was like, this is just, uh, God, I don't want to take two here. I really don't. All right. All right. Okay, well, can't play that. We can just pass, keep up remand if we need to. We probably will.
Snapcaster, huh? Yeah, we're just going to remand this guy. Could have remanded the Lightning Bolt, actually. That probably would have been better. Man, that would have been a good play. Remand the Lightning Bolt? Can you imagine? And then they lose the Lightning Bolt, but they keep Snapcaster. But then, like, I'd rather have Living End in hand before we do that. Mutagenic Girl. Oh, are we still in... Oh, we're still in the attack step. I thought we were done. I thought our turn was over. We're really looking for a living end here, guys. Did we find one? We found a big fat idiot. We can also kill this if we don't think they have another... We can Electrodominance into Ancestral Vision, but then we need two components rather than one, which is a little scarier. Nope, not that. Let's get rid of all these dudes. One time, come on. Why are you being like this? Why are you being like this? I actually like Solo a lot. I thought Solo was super fun. No blocks. Mm, interesting. We know you have Snappy Boy. You just didn't do anything? Okay. Fascinating. Oh my god. I'm getting real mad. I'm getting really angry right now. I'm getting super mad. Super bad? I am hungry, so I'll be back in a minute. Don't lose bits. Zaxor, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. I don't know why we're... Guys, I just want to draw things that help me win games instead of not win games. Can I do that? Okay, so if I let this guy resolve now, I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry, you have to go. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ooh, let's V-click during the upkeep. Or the draw step, rather. They have six cards in hand? No, I'm just keeping Remand up. Cool runnings. Let's jump back in bobsled team. Uh, is, this, is this Snapcaster again? Because I don't even, I'm just going to... Actually, if this is Snapcaster, I'm going to let it resolve, and then we'll Remand whatever they cast. Oh, Manamorphose. Come on, I really just want to hit the stupid thing. I'm going to counter this because then they don't get mana or the extra card. Come on, Living End. I could just cast that, but I don't think it does anything. I don't even think you do anything, Curator of Mysteries. Man. All right, I'll take two. I'll go to six. I'll go to uh, the Life Toll that is dead to two Lightning Bolts. Nope, we're gonna have to keep we're gonna have to go deeper. This is so many lands. One time. One time. One, two, three. Ancestral. This is not the worst. Because it lets us play Ancestral and still keep up Electro Dominance. Nope, not not you. Cast with as foretold, I will target myself. And they still don't have a thing. Welp. Welcome to Awkward City, population just one. 35 cards, not one living end. That is interesting. There's four in the deck, right? I just want to make sure. Four in the deck? Yep, there are four in the deck. Okay. 25. Seen cards, 35 unseen cards. Hmm. 
Jumping and bump sled team. Metamorphose again? Are you gonna metamorphose? Again. I can't just have you keep doing this, I'm sorry. This is where they're like, alright, lightning bolt, kill you. And I'm like, okay, well I can't I can't play around all these things. Oh my god. Can we can we just win next turn? No. No, we cannot. Alright, well. I'm not even going to crack Tarn because I don't want to go to three. Seven cards in hand. Are you ready? Here we go. Play our land for the turn. Cast with one target my soul. There's got to be it, right? 30, half, half the deck? Nope. This is too much. I can't deal with this. Oh my god. One, two, three. Vendillion click ourselves. Paper snag. Sure. Well, that does put us to three now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Going to two is no different than going to three here. But oh, it doesn't matter because he can't cast the dominance then. Yep, so we're pretty much dead here. We know they have Snapcaster in hand, they just lightning bolt. Yep. Wow. 20, 32 cards were seen. Next card is going to be Living End. No. Wow. I don't think they're in the deck anymore. Wow. Wow. 40, 38 cards into the deck is where the Living End shows up. That's amazing. That is incredible. Blood Moon actually seems pretty good here. Don't care about Ingot Chewers. I don't think I care about Anger of the Gods. Chalice on one seems pretty good. Don't care about Tormod's Crypt. We'd have to cut some some bunch of cards. Take out one of these guys. Pretty take out the Vendillion Clicks. Take out one. Remand seems pretty rough here. Under the sea. I will play first. Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Cycle a dude, chalice on one. Seems strong. Also, if you guys are looking to borrow or rent physical paper magic cards or digital magic online cards, uh, definitely check out manatraders.com. Uh, you get 20% off your first three months if you use the link and the promo code in the description below. So definitely check that, that out if that's something you're looking to do, if you're looking for ways to test easier or go to your local events uh, more efficiently without having to borrow decks all the time. Uh, done.
That's true. You can't have garbage bags that are black. Or else the bot's like, no, listen. Actually, that wasn't even the bot. That was just Thank Twitch you. itself. Friendly FFS, thank you so much for this for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Can we just wait to play this guy? I feel like if we just play this guy against them, they're they're pretty bad. They're pretty bad. <laughs> they're in pretty bad shape. Was a mantis rider? Well, this is rough. Now we're definitely playing this next turn. We have nothing else to do. I mean, we're probably going to draw an Electro Dominance and feel bad, but I guess we could still cast. We can still do all those things if we don't cycle, so. Blood Moon. Wow. Where were you two turns ago? All right. Might be dead. Might be dead here. I don't have this Little Mermaid song stuck in my head, guys. So they can't cast Lightning Bolt, they can't cast Mutagenic Growth, they can't cast Vapor Snag. So that's nice. That's a nice amount of safety. Also, if you guys are looking for a wardrobe upgrade, definitely check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns, and you'll get some of those comfortable clothing, comfortable micromodal clothing that you can find from onesies to uh, lounge pants to underwear, boxers, boxer briefs, whatever you guys are looking for. Um, if you guys are looking for any sort of upgrade in that area, which we all need that kind of stuff anyway, then definitely check out uh, meundies.com. Slash Frank Lepore. What's a twosie? <laughs> living End. All right, well, that's great that we're going to draw a Living End here. Wow, they lightning helix us. One, two, three, four, and they just kill us there. Fantastic. Fantastic. That's great. That's what's briefsy boxers? What the hell is that? They have boxer briefs, if that's what you're referring to. Alright. Anyway. I think we're about done here. Two two, not too bad. I, I think this deck is actually fine. I think it could definitely use some improvements. Um specifically like Like the Torrance Group is interesting in the main deck. Like there's some matchups you just never want to draw it. Same thing with a braid. Like, these are just probably better as just uh, street wraiths. Just ways to get through your deck a little faster. Also, Cryptic Command is real iffy for me. I mean, I could see going down to two, but like three is a lot when in a 19 land deck. But either way, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Send those like and subscribe buttons. Check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. Check out Mana Traders. And also, you can, if you go to Cool Stuff Inc., you can find my articles. And you can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off your purchase. Um, and I'm not leaving if you're watching on Twitch. I'm just ending the YouTube video. But. Uh, Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you guys next time.